In this tutorial, we are going to learn many different parts of how to use a Google Apps for Education calendar. Well, first thing, let's learn how to set an event. Setting an event is either could be created here by clicking on this button or just simply going to where the time is the event is to be held and clicking on that. Now initially you have a very simple thing if it's just for you to look at. You might just want to use this and enter what it is and that's it. Or you can go inside of this for more detailed explanation of everything where you could put where it is in a description and uh, these are things that would be great if you were sharing this calendar with others so they know more about the event. So you could uh, list uh, title of it and the time you could change the time or it could be all day and then it's set for the whole day or you want to change the time to longer just click on the time and you're all set once you have all of these things done maybe you want to let Tom know about it well over here you can go to and begin to put his name and there is his address and I've added him as a guest now what will happen is I then can send him an email through this and uh, let him know when we are going to meet and he will have a choice he will, in the email it will say yes or no or maybe and he can reply back and I will have an idea of who's coming and who isn't to the event so I hit save now it is asking me do I want to send an invitation well that would be what normally I would want but since I'm just making this up for the tutorial I'm not going to send him an invitation now the nice thing with once you have it on the calendar and you have it set you can actually move it around to different times or different days now as you can see I am in the week right now I could change to month so maybe I need to move it to a whole different day down here just by grabbing and dragging or I could go by day so we'll go back to the week so we can see everything so that's how setting up events on your calendar and how well they would work now let's take a look at some other things what if I wanted to set up a different calendar well I would go over to my calendars right here and click on the little arrow and say create new calendar and maybe I wanted to put in a family calendar So now if I want to add an event, I can turn this off and just show work on the family and enter that. So that's how you add your own calendar. So you can have multiple calendars and you can turn them on and off. And then how you do it is just by clicking on the color. And you may say, well, what are these other things that are on here? Well, I also have a feed from another calendar that I have down here and to get that I can add a friends calendar by just typing in their Gmail address for the calendar and then adding it again if I don't want to see it right now I can just click on that and now it's clear so as you can see now by clicking on Mark Ben this comes back where when I was had that off and nothing for family so that is how you add and set up your own calendars that is how you add somebody else's calendar and that is how you can turn them on and off so you can see them better with that that ends this tutorial